I'm about to show you how to take a physical PS3 game that you have on hand and use a Blu-ray drive to dump the contents onto your computer so that you can play it on your RPCS3 emulator. Yes, there are other ways to get a game into RPCS3, but some people don't feel comfortable downloading games from the internet. And truthfully, those files don't always work when you try to run them in RPCS3. And yes, there are ways to dump your game using a hack act PS3, but not everyone has a PS3 to do that. So in order to do this process, you'll need to have a compatible Blu-ray drive connected to your computer. RPCS3 has a list that shows the model numbers of 54 different drives that have been proven to be able to dump a PS3 game. I'll put a link to that list in the description. Note that most of these are internal drives, but there's a few external drives and they are marked as as such, I'll be using an external one in my example today. If you're unaware what model number your drive is, press the Windows key and the letter R at the same time, and that'll bring up the run prompt, and you'll need to type in msinfo32 and click OK. I'm sorry about the blurriness of some of the images you're going to see today. It's because I have to zoom in a lot. Uncollapse the components section and click on CD-ROM. The model number will appear in one of the fields on the right. If your drive isn't listed on that compatibility list, it may still be compatible. It could be that nobody has tested that particular one before. The only way to know for sure is to attempt the rest of this process that I show you today and see if it works. If you don't have a compatible drive, you may be able to find a cheap one on eBay. The next thing you need to do is install Disk Dumper. I'll put a link to it in the description for me, it downloaded into my downloads folder. I chose to unzip it to that same folder, but you can unzip it somewhere else if you want. Inside the unzipped folder, there will be a single executable file and you can double click it to run it. For me, Windows gave me a warning message, but I clicked run anyway and it went on to open it. I have read that if you can't get it to run, try right clicking on it and running it as an administrator. What it also does is create a folder in your computer called PS3 ISO dumper and it puts that deep within the app data folder. I think it does all that when you first run the program. The program itself is not much to look at. If you click the gears icon you can change where it dumps the game file and some other things but for me I'm going to leave everything as is. The next step is to insert the game into the drive. It may act like it's not doing anything but eventually it will start reading it. You just need to be patient and let it do the work. The first thing it'll do is start looking for a key that matches your game. I believe it is searching in that folder that I referenced a moment ago. When it finds it, it'll say ready to dump. Note that if it doesn't find the key, this whole process will not work. However, I did test it on the 20 games in my collection and it found a key for every single one of them. But there is still hope if it doesn't find a key. Try searching the internet for it. You'll want to find the one that goes to the serial number of the game that you have. The serial number can be found at the bottom of the spine right here. Now, if you do find a key, it's not 100% clear to me where you need to place it. I've read different things and unfortunately I cannot test it, but I believe it needs to go into the IRD folder that sits within the app data folder. But if it does find a key, you just need to click start. It'll go through the process of dumping it. When it's done, it'll say the files are decrypted and copied. You'll need to find out where they were copied to. For me, it put it into the downloads folder. If you're unsure where it put it, click the gear symbol and the first section there shows where it put it. Normally the file would be one folder. Feel free to move that folder wherever you wanna store your games. For me, I'm going to be lazy and just keep it in my downloads folder. Getting the game into RPCS3 is easy. Just have the game folder on one side and RPCS3 on the other and drag and drop the file into RPCS3. It'll immediately appear and you can open it and play it. 
Note that you can eject the game from the disk drive. You do not have to have it in there while you're playing the game. Also note that just because you dropped the game into RPCS3, that doesn't mean it made a copy of it. It's reading it from whatever folder you dropped it from. So since I dropped mine from the downloads folder, I need to keep the file in the downloads folder. If I delete the file, it disappears from RPCS3. If RPCS3 tells you there is an update available for your game, there is a whole other process to do that. And I covered it in a separate video, which you should see in the screen right here. I hope you found this current video useful. Have a great day, everybody.